Republican Party Chairman Steve Pierce is usually available to the media. Just another nail in the coffin of small businesses that, that provide most of the jobs in New Mexico. Conservative Democrats are just looking for people with similar values. I told the Trump team from day one, this is basically a dead heat. But immediately following the Trump supporters who stormed into the Capitol, KOAT wanted to hear from the state's Republican Party chairman. Pierce has said he is unavailable. Many other Republican leaders, like newly elected Congresswoman and Yvette Harrell also declined interviews this week. They're not talking because they're embarrassed by what has happened over the past 48 hours. Darren White used to be one of the most well-known Republicans in the state. He was elected sheriff twice, chaired George W. Bush's New Mexico campaign, and was the party's nominee for the first congressional district. They should be condemning what happened in the strongest terms. White is now a talk show host on conservative radio KKOB. He says the local Republican Party is divided over those who support Trump and those like him and those who don't. The Republican Party has become you either swear an oath of fealty to President Trump or you're just considered an outsider, an agitator. I'm absolutely a conservative Republican. And I might argue that I was a conservative Republican before Donald Trump was a Republican. Today, this is the response we received from Steve Pierce's spokesman. Steve isn't available until Tuesday. He can talk to you next week. And Yvette Harrell's office said this. Unfortunately, the Congresswoman is not available for an interview today, but we're looking forward to setting up time for media availability on Monday. In Albuquerque, Brittany Hope, KOAT Action 7 News. Harold's office went on to say the Congresswoman has condemned the violence of the Capitol on Wednesday, as well as outlined the constitutional basis for her objections to electoral votes from several states in written statements, as well as her first remarks on the U.S. House floor just a few days ago. 